Seeing that the weather outside isn't too great at the minute, it has put a bit of a pause with the new front suspension rebuild. However, I do have some more jobs to do upon the van, and one of those jobs is to recondition my front calipers. You can buy the sealing kit, which I do have here. So I'm going to reseal the front caliper. I have replaced the rear calipers in the past, so I won't be reconditioning them. It'll be just the front calipers. Two common problems I have come across the front calipers up on my van, and that is the slider pins. Obviously the slider pins attached to the saddle with a bolt going in that way. And they want to be free floating like so inside the caliper. As you can see on mine, one of them is quite seized up. So I'm going to, have to remove them and clean those up. So that's one. Set that to a side. There you go. Second one. That's out as well. I can already see the problem with this. Somebody in the past has used copper grease and it's gone hard and it's no longer free floating inside the caliper. I'll set that to a side to clean up later. Now the next stage I want to be doing is removing the pistons that's inside the calipers. So if I face it that way and put two pieces of wood inside like that to remove to remove the pistons inside the caliper, I'm going to apply a bit of air pressure. Be aware, it might be full of oil. So these pistons are not going to fly out. There you go, that's one. That's two. Obviously that piece of wood was there to stop the pistons flying out across the workshop. And it's simple as that. I'm going to remove the rubber gator from around the pistons that were originally in there. And whether you can see it or not, we can see inside the piston pots. There you go, there's two bores within this caliper, and in each bore there is an o ring. Just a case of hooking your screwdriver in there and pulling that whole o ring out. It's like a flat o ring. Just one in each pot. Do the same on this side. Just hook your flat bladed screwdriver in there and just unhook it how like so. And that's all there is, ceiling wise, inside the caliper. Two O-rings and obviously the rubber gaiters that go around the piston pot. Next stage, I'm just going to remove the slider gaiters. Just a case of pulling them out really because they're just hooked in inside the caliper there. Just inside that indentation. Do both sides. There you go. And that's all the rubbers removed from the caliper. The next job for me, at least upon my calipers, is to clean each caliper up using a wire brush adapter upon my drill, making sure all the loose rust, dirt, corrosion buildup is removed. Then I'm going to paint each one using heat proof paint. After the paint has dried out, I can come back and rebuild that caliper. So you can actually buy the rubber seal kit from eBay. This is where this one came from. And inside the seal kit, you get all the seals that you're gonna need for your front calipers. I've already started doing this one. This is the painted result, the cleaned up painted result. And I've already put in the seals in one side. As you can see, that is now nice and free with a new seal upon it. Same with the piston inside the caliper there. That's all been sealed off with a new seal with inside the caliper and a new gator seal upon it as well. Which leaves me with just one P2000 
piston to place within that pot there. So I'm just going to get the seals out that I'm going to need for the moment. Inside the seal kit you do get silicone grease to be applied upon your seals when you're fitting them inside your calipers. First seal I'm going to attach first is the o-ring seal that goes inside the caliper pot. Just a case of inserting it back inside its housing point. There you go. That's all snug. That's now fitted and now snugly fitted into there. Next job I want to do is just apply a little bit of silicone grease upon that seal. I'm not going too daft with it. There we are. Cylinder pot. I'm going to apply the rubber gator onto that first. There we are. And draw it up so it just sits within its locking location for that rubber gator. There we are. Just draw it back down a bit. Just so you've got a bit of a loose end at the pressure end. And what I'm going to do, now I've got the seal onto the piston pot. I'm just going to apply a little bit of silicone grease on the edge there, like so. Yet again, I'm not going to be too stupid with it. And I'm going to locate the rubber lip of that seal within its location spot on the caliper. I'm going to start with the bottom end first. Make sure my screwdriver is nice and clean. It's just a case of trying to get that rubber lip located and locked into position on the caliper. It is a bit of a fiddly job. I think we're locked into position there. I'm just going to turn the pot around a bit. Looks like we're still a little bit out there. Let's draw it in. That's it. I think that's got it. There you go. Then I'm just going to push the pot in. Just going to move that bolt there. There you go. Nice and easy. So that rubber gator there is now locked into position on the caliper. If I just get my air gun again now and just draw out those pistons. I'm just going to get my air blower out again and just making sure that those rubber gaiters are fully on. It's no and it appears to be locked in on the other side. Push them back. Next stage, the slider. I've cleaned that up, so we need the slider gear too as well. I'm going to put the slider gator on first. I 
There we are. I'm going to push it over. Like so. Yeah, again, applying a little bit of silicone grease on that slider gator. And a bit inside here. And same again, you're just locating that lip there. It wants to be tucked away inside the caliper ring in there. Starting on the bottom edge again. This is just a little bit easier. Just trying to push that lip inside to that housing location for the gator. There you go, just pushing the slider. And it should have locked the other rubber lip on the other end of the gator onto the slider. Check on both ends. Yep, both ends of the sliders, gators, are locked into position inside the caliper. Also in the kit you do get the end cap for the slider itself. Obviously when you reattach the caliper back onto its saddle, when you attach the bolt inside the slider and tighten it up, you can put the end cap on the end, like so. There you go. Now I did mention I had two issues with my calipers in the past. We've discovered one issue, and that's the slider seizing up, but also the piston that seizes up with inside the caliper. Where the rubber gator sits with inside the caliper, it is seated within a round ring. That round ring on the entrance of the bore of the caliper seems to build up corrosion over time. And when it's building up with corrosion over time, it's clamping down on that gator onto the piston. And over time, as corrosion builds up, it seems to clamp that piston into position and it's not free floating in and out of the caliper. You may come across that issue once you strip your caliper down, just a case of cleaning up the corrosion around the entrance of that borehole. Basically, for now, that's it. Nice easy job and for £25 I've managed to recondition both of my front calipers. Obviously once the weather clears up outside I can get back onto the front suspension and get that fitted back onto the van. Next job after the suspension is to fit the new discs and pads upon the van and also I can fit these calipers back onto the van as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.